the thing about camp that was great is you were around kids that basically were in the same predicament as you were in. And, um, you know, it was, it's, you know, to be within with your peers, so to speak, is a lot more comfortable than having to be out in the real world. You know, and like when you're a kid and you, you, you have one of these uh, afflictions, whatever it may be, it's, it's very difficult. You, first of all, you know, you're trying to figure out what the hell happened to you, you know. This is the first thing that I think a kid goes through. And, uh, and you just have to work that out, you know. And it, uh, it took a long time. It took a long time for me. But, uh, you know, places like Camp Cheerful really, it, it, put a, uh, it just put a sparkle in, in, in my life for a few weeks. You were treated in a, in a way that, you know, they didn't, they didn't treat you like there was something wrong with you, you know. And, uh, and, and that, that uh, I think, is something I walked away with, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, you, you just were, you know, a human being like everyone else, you know. And it's just, uh, I think the toughest thing is, is getting kids to, to, uh, to not feel like a freak. Quite frankly, I had come once before because I think I was telling you earlier. This friend of mine, Randy Newman, uh, this is some years ago when we first uh, had, had met and you know we hung out and everything. And uh, I told him about this camp I went to, Camp Cheerful. And he was just he couldn't. He was trying to figure out because he, he was trying to put together this thing about handicapped children, you know, and suddenly Camp Cheerful. He just couldn't get over the name. So I took a, I, we were, I was in Cleveland, I took a special trip there. This is about, oh my God, 30 years ago. And I took, there was, at the time, I don't think it's there anymore, at the time there was this sign, and on it said, Camp Cheerful. And I had my wife take a picture next to it, and I sent it to Randy. And I said, but last year, the reason I came out is because I'm in the midst of writing a book with a friend, an author uh, friend, and uh, we talked about it. I just, you know, that, that place stuck out of my mind. I went, I think, two years in a row, if I'm not mistaken, two, maybe three, two, definitely. And uh, I said, let's, let's, uh, let's take a drive out. And I called someone, I'm not sure who I spoke to, but in any event, set it up, and I, um, I went there, and it was, it was very interesting to um, to come back to something that you hadn't seen in in many years. I mean, I didn't really go in when I went the first time to take that picture. I never got past the sign. So this time, you know, of course, we walked all through, went into the cabins. I went into the. Ca I think I was in Mohawk, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I don't remember that. There's the main uh, the great house. Is that what they call the great hall? Now, how long has that been up? It's been up there for most of the camp's history. Maybe, maybe, isn't that funny? I don't remember that. But I do remember, though, this is very uh, Freudish, but uh, I do remember when I walked in, and uh, you really got a cross-section of, of all the children that were there. <clears throat> and um, I just, uh, I, I had a, a, a very deep, an emotional experience, quite frankly. Uh, well, the Achievement Centers for Children and Camp Cheerful uh, was not only very important in my life, but it, it meant, it was very important to me, to the point where I ended up coming back and visiting a year ago.